Hey, how you doing? Brian Kane, Mental Performance Coach here with the Mental Performance Daily Podcast. I'm inside the locker room, Fairfield University, Fairfield, Connecticut, with their head men's lacrosse coach, Andrew Baxter. Coach Baxter, thanks for taking over Mental Performance Daily today, man. What is the mental game to you? Mental game to me is um, just coming every day at practice. Every day you, you put on the pads um, with a focus. Um, and, and, and having a, a process um, individually, unit-wise, team-wise, having your keys for the day, and, uh, and like I said, just keeping that focus. That, that, that's, that's the mental game to me. You know, and as you actually look around the locker room here, you've got a lot of great things. We just did a tour here on Mental Performance Daily inside of your locker room, and you've got your mottos, right, of only need everybody, inconvenience need, better today than yesterday, good, eat the elephant. Why is it important that you create a motto for your team to kind of cement that mindset each year? Yeah, absolutely. We rely on our on our upperclassmen and to uh, to come up with those those mindsets for us, and um, it helps uh, it helps shape the, the the mindset for the team for that year. And uh, we've had a couple couple different ones. Obviously, a couple came directly from some of your mental performance stuff. But I think uh, you know those are things um, along with you know the other parts of our program that we can go back to every day and, and, and bring it back to these guys so that they can have that focus and they can they can they can prepare mentally. Um, and, and and like I said, have have a, have a common mindset have common standards, have common expectations. You know, and on the wall we showed it, obviously, as you come walking down the hall in your locker room here, it says the process. What do you mean, what does that mean to you, the process? So the process to me, and, and you saw the Polaroids in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the video as well, and I think the Polaroids are a big part of it because I felt like, you know, that, that is what the process is. It's, it's every day, all right? You know, there's, there's pictures up there from, from every semester that we've been together here, and, and my hope is that when guys graduate from this program and they come back and they come back in the locker room and they're looking at that process, well, hey, I remember that day. That was, a, that was a big part of Fairfield Lacrosse. And it's not just about winning, losing. Um, it's about those everyday experiences that the guys can, can remember, you know. And I think, um, you know, my goal with this program is for it to be a feeling and not just, a, just, just something that they do. So I'm hoping that, uh, you know, th those, those little pieces of the program help with, with that. You know, over, as I'm looking over here, right, one of the things, again, as we did the tour inside of your locker room yesterday here on Mental Performance Daily, now we get to hear it from you and process it. You have a sign of your behavioral standards, right? Everybody says please and thank you. Everybody picks up trash. Everybody takes notes. Don't be a jerk. And you think for, hey, these guys are college athletes, right? They, they, they should know that as a good human being. You pick up trash. You say please and thank you. You take notes in a meeting. But I don't see that everywhere I go that people actually do that. So why was it important for you to create those behavior standards for your program? Yeah, they, um, they have a meaning behind them as well. So everybody says please and thank you is, uh, signifies being grateful and having gratitude. Um, picking up trash is just accountability. You know, we, uh, if you're walking by a piece of trash and you don't pick it up, you know, then you're saying you're not accountable for that. So, um, it's, it's, it's another metaphor for being accountable to, you know, yourself and each other. And then everybody taking notes, just being a learner. Um, you know, I think that's a big part of our program is we're constantly trying to get better and, and taking notes and learning every, every, and everything you do is, is a huge piece of it. And then, uh, you know, don't be a jerk is, is just, just to, just a way to, to keep the guys in line, really, to be honest with you, and just, just have them think about their actions and the decisions that they're making. So Love that. Gratitude, accountability, be a learner. You heard it here on Mental Performance Daily. If you just take those three things, amongst many of which you could take here from Coach Andrew Baxter and Fairfield Men's Across, and if you go back, if you missed yesterday's episode in Mental Performance Daily, take a look at the tour in their locker room, and whether you're a coach and you decide to take some of the strategies that Coach Baxter used to put his process up in their locker room to advertise that to their players. Or you know, let's say you're an athlete listening to this or you're a parent listening to this and you don't know what's up inside of the locker room or you don't have control of that because you're not the head coach. Your bedroom is your locker room. And what are you posting up in your bedroom on your bathroom mirror? What are you posting on the walls, the ceiling in your bedroom to advertise to yourself the mindset that you want to give you the best chance for success? Thanks for checking out Mental Performance Daily with Brian Kane, an Ironclad original. If you like the show, be sure to leave us a rating, review, and comments. We'll see you tomorrow. 
Are you a coach who wants to level up your ability to coach mental performance so that your clients can consistently perform at their best and get the results that they've been missing? Then join some of the top performing and top income generating coaches in the world by mastering the 10 mental skills your clients need to win. I opened my Mental Performance Mastery Coaches Certification course only twice a year, typically in May and November. So your next step is to join my free insiders list so you can save $200 when you join. Just head to briancane.com and click on certification to join our insiders list and learn more about how you can become a certified mental performance mastery coach. My name's Andy Stumpf. I'm a former Navy SEAL and the host of the Cleared Hot Podcast. On the new Ironclad show, Change Agents, I talk to people risking it all to find solutions to seemingly unsolvable problems. So there are hundreds of thousands of some of the poorest people in the world digging cobalt out of the ground. Taking out a trafficker, force multiplying, because right then you, you take down the network, another guy's gonna pop back up for sure. 771 million humans are drinking dirty water. 2,000 kids will die today. You know, we're not going fast enough to solve this problem. Change Agents, an Ironclad original, coming soon to all major podcast platforms and Ironclad's YouTube channel at This Is Ironclad.